All right, let's get right into it. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to the vlog. Uh, all right, so today, listen, I'm just gonna go ahead and do my best angles. I will try to not to record shaky or anything or any of that, to show you the best I can. So today we're installing, if you can see here, car lock, oh, holding it upside down already. <laughs> car lock CO, which is this one. So this device keeps, um, this is a live connected drive. It's a live notification that comes to your phone and it gives you a like live right away within the seconds of if someone, God forbid, bumped into your car. You know, like I spent a lot of money um, getting this car and you know, mod you know, for all the enthusiasts out there and the people like to protect the investment. This is, this was $50 on Amazon. Uh, I'll put the link in the description if you guys want to get that. Um, not sponsored or anything, but they had a discount, so I, I'm like, you know what? It's a good price. It was a hundred bucks originally. So, um, to protect the investment, you know, man, because here's the thing. When I went to Monterey Car Week, you park, yes, I took my Corvette to Monterey Car Week, if you guys don't already know, you park miles and miles from the event. And I'm like, what if someone bumped into my car? What if someone broke the window? What if someone keyed the car? So this will let me know on my phone you download the app right here. You download the app. Uh, it's either if you are on, if you are here, focus. If you are, if you have an Apple, you download it from the Apple Store. If you have a Samsung, LG, all of these other Android phones, you download it from the Google Play. So it works for both phones. And see right here, it gives you uh, monitors the car the battery, the GPS too, so a lot of stuff, all that good stuff that, you know, here in it, like in Arizona, it doesn't get cold, but honestly, battery, the battery, the heat kills them, so, you know, when the battery goes down, although I have a battery tender, so I will be fine, but if your battery is low and you live in the East Coast states and you want to go to work, it's going to give you a notification, hey, your battery is running low the car might not start so you will know by then you gotta do something ASAP so let's get into the car inside and I will show you guys how to install this it's a pretty, pretty simple process all right before we get into the car this is my Instagram YouTube and Instagram go ahead and follow me on Instagram feel free to do that I will appreciate it any questions by the way just message me on Instagram and I'm, I'm just always on there so all right we're in the car right now let's do if you guys bear with me here, because I'm going to have to deal with one hand. Let's do an unboxing. All right. So, pretty simple process. Get that. Just like that. You open it. And you've got this paper right here, which I can't show. Well, I can show the code. There's the serial number and activation code, which I cannot show. But, um, let's say there's nothing on the back. So that's the first one right here. And you've got a little, by the way, I'm doing this with one hand, so you guys bear with me. We got this paper right here, which is the instructions on, on what you gotta do and all that stuff. Uh, nothing on the back, pretty simple stuff. So this one, if you guys don't already know, this is the device right here, all right? So this, let's see how does it come out. You gotta push it from the back. Again, I'm doing this with one hand, so. All right, there we go. Comes just like that. Put this sideways on the side. So this, this might look familiar, right? Because this plugs in into the OBD tube on the cars. Any, pretty much any car since I've read 1995 or 1996 up, mid, mid and up 90s, it's gonna work on every car because they have OBD tube. What's for the cars? That they don't have OBD tubes like 96 and down. I don't know. They just don't have any device that I know of uh, that can, you know, detect their car. That's the device right here. Simple, small. Nothing like big and or is gonna in interferes between your driving, you know, between there, between the pedals or anything. So this plugs in the OBD tube. Usually, it's 
what do you check if you got a check engine light you know what are you gonna do there you're gonna go to the AutoZone store or you have a scanning tool and you're gonna go right what is it that let me see that's my LED strip I got an LED strip it's it's usually right below the steering wheel so what do you sit what are your right there it's right along here some cars are on the way on the right on the left some cars are on the way all the way on the right some cars are in the middle mine is in the middle sometimes it's all the way down sometimes it's like right there but I gotta find it real quick and I will show you guys all right, so we're gonna put this aside and I'm gonna go into the app right here on my phone we're gonna go you're gonna download from the Apple store right here I hope it's focusing focus 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 don't embarrass me hold on I think it's zoomed in there you go all right there you go some technical difficulties you always you always have some technical difficulties with this camera anyway so you guys are gonna go and download it and you're gonna go to carlock co that's my very first time opening this and uh, let's see I'm just gonna do it with you guys so we're gonna go security monitor your vehicle on your smartphone from anywhere in the world anywhere in the world all right let's go next awareness detect troubling uh, driving behavior such as drag racing stunt driving and speeding who does that <laughs> all right um that's a good joke I mean by what I know I get it what they mean by that is like if you go to the dealership and the guy in the dealership just steps on it you know you go to service your car you keep it at somebody's they're gonna start it they're gonna get on it you're gonna know so that's that's what I mean health let's see monitor your uh, vehicle health um, electrical system and get notified in the event of a low battery see it notifies you about low battery just like that see that notification drops down history that's the GPS device the car lock device is required for car lock to work with your vehicle I'm, I mean by the way this works with every single vehicle like it doesn't matter what make and model you got so you're gonna go finish welcome let's see let's read here all right, this is helping me to explain. Car lock enables you to be notified when your car engine is started or it's being moved. Being moved, being anything, like anyone walks around it. And obviously if they touch it, it will tell you. This tutorial will help you understand how to use car lock security. First, enable the car security by tapping the green lock button. All right, you guys ready? There you go. All right, we're here. Enable. Allow a notification to give you a notification. Start. Engine. St See, it's just like that. Gives you a notification. Vehicle moved. If someone moved your vehicle, this is just explaining. Weird noises, but just explaining. Got it. You say got it. There are times when you don't want to the, to get the alerts about your car moving, you can simply disable. If you don't want to get the alerts, you can disable them. The security features to avoid unwanted alerts. Hmm. Tap on the orange lock button to disable the security. Oh, that's the demo. That's just shown us the demo. I just did that. So this is a demo, okay. Teen driving. You don't want that. <laughs> Alright. Let's see here. Cornering see this is an example Audi A4 Acceleration it gives you an acceleration if they accelerate if like they floated or something speeding if they go over the speed limit Breaking if you they break hard See you said got it. It's just an example Congratulations you go explore and I believe tap here to log in or to active to active the car lock device. I believe you you tap on here. All right, enough of that. Let's plug in the car lock, and I'll show you guys where to find the OBD OBD two. What I, I meant by OBD scanner is the OBD where this thing sits right there, not the scanner. You can use the scanner, but this is if you wanted to use the scanner. Before I forgot saying that, you need to remove that. Oh, by the way, it will tell you if someone, okay, so if someone breaks into the car, God forbid, and you want to follow them, you can just be on the phone and you can chase them down. Okay. Call the cops. 
then change them down. But if someone gets in the car and they know for some reason you got that, when they remove this, the, you're gonna get a notification too if they move that. So if it works, if it's dis connected or disconnected. So I, I hope you guys are getting the idea. So we're gonna go down there and this thing goes one way and it's right there, see? It's just gonna sit one way. It doesn't go the other way. See, it doesn't go the other way. It's gonna go like here and you're just gonna push it up. And it's gonna be locked right there. Mine is a little bit moves, but that's fine. That's normal movement. And it's just gonna sit right under there. See? I hope that does not interfere with my my uh, feet on the brake because the brake pedal is close from the brake pedal. Some cars are all the way on the side, but in the C5 Corvette, I keep pushing it because I don't want it. I notice a little bit of movement, but I hope it stays solid. All right, right there. So we're gonna go into the app and see what the app says. All right. Let's see. Come on, open up. Tap here to active the. All right, there we go. So you're gonna put your email, your oh, active new device. Hold on, we're gonna go active a new device. I'm just learning this with you guys, so bear with me here. Let's see what this say. Okay, accept. Acti activation code and serial number. Let me get that. So this is under my finger. You're gonna get the start page. This is the serial number and the activation code. Let me insert that and I will go, I will be right back. All right, uh, account is a email, phone number, my name, and you're gonna click next. Uh, you're gonna select the vehicle manufacturer right here. So you're gonna go for your, you're gonna look for your vehicle manufacturer. I'm struggling talking because it's hot here. Chevrolet model. Corvette, Chevrolet Corvette C5, or just let's type in the right, yeah, just Corvette, which is C5. I don't think they care for that. Uh, Phoenix, America, Phoenix, United States. You're gonna click next. See, a pretty easy process. All right, you're gonna. That's the policy. You're gonna go accept. It's loading now. I'm waiting with you guys. You know, what I mean, you're waiting with me. I'm waiting with you. All right. I just want to. When I do these demonstrations and installs, I just hope you get. I'm trying to do my best to film and. You know, try to explain it best here, with an obviously a clear footage, so. All right, subscribe to car link now. You're gonna. All right, I'm just gonna clip set up, set up later, which we're gonna set it up later. I purchased car like primary four. I I mean, I did because my it's my investment, you know, security right here. Activation completed. Pretty simple. All right, let's see. It's taking us to carlock.co, which that's the company. It's taking us on Safari. Come on, come on, come on, there you go. We are shipping orders out faster than directly from the warehouse. Our orders present 24 hours, including those media via Amazon. So it ships with 24 hours. Welcome to Carlock family. Feel free to join our online community to find out more about Carlock throughout the stories. Blah, 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 blah. All right, cool. So, I think for... a go for a drive to get see that's what i was waiting for go for a drive to get a valid gps location which we're gonna go for a drive in a minute so i will probably end it up right here that's pretty much it i will just you're gonna go for a drive and it's just gonna obviously give you notifications on how to set up it's gonna give you notifications that where your car have been you're gonna do it you're gonna test it you're gonna have to do um you don't have to do an acceleration maybe braking you open the door close the door so it gives you an notification right here. All right guys, so we're going to want to drive and it said device connected. I got the notification right there. Device connected. 
And uh, let's see what what does it tell us. Chevrolet Corvette. There, there we go. That's my car. And that's where I live, right there. Can I show you the address? Let's see. Back on the map. Dashboard. Let's see. Back map. See? Right there. Connected. So that's all you got to do um, for that. Uh, is that the truck with the bad tire? Yep, that's the truck with the blue tire. He blew a tire by back there. The, so the thing is, there was a tire all over the street, and I saw it late, and I had to swerve to go to, to go to this lane. See, look at that acceleration. See, it notifies me what is going on with the car, which is good. And let me show you guys the device. If you can see, that's the device. Obviously, it's not interfering with my feet on the gas and the pedal when I press the gas on the pedal. Yes, you guessed it. My shoes are red. Red to match the car. To match the car. I, I, I'm a blue person guy, but I like the red now. Um, other than that, that's it for today's video, you guys. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. I don't think I don't think there's any much I need to do. See, 70 miles per hour. We're all, we are on West Grand F. You press that right here, and it shows you. It shows you the info. So that's it for today's video. I don't want to make it long. Uh, other than that, please hit that thumbs up button. It really helps me out. And uh, I will greatly, greatly, greatly appreciate that if you subscribe too. Subscribe below. Click the subscribe and uh, turn on the notifications so you know when I upload a new video. Here, let me flip the camera so I see if I'm recording right. Yep. That's a pretty good angle. I think I'm going to use this angle. It's a pretty good one. Uh, I appreciate all the views and all. I see the thumbs ups. I see the comments. I reply to the comments. Um, we're on, we are on the track to 100 subscribers. Crazy, crazy! All these people watch me. I really appreciate that. Um, yeah, please subscribe, and I will see you on the next vlog. See what? See, probably is going to be a mod or something that I install on the car. Other than that, it's uh, 106. Well, 106. That spoke up spike up real quick uh that's it later guys